Hello there everyone and welcome back to PS4. Uh, what I'm going to talk to you to do, uh, today about is um, leave quests. These are great little ways of levelling up. Um, there are optional quests which you will get the most of the central hubs. I'm in um, Swift Perch in uh, the Linsa Melinsa at the moment. And you need to go to these leave meet guys. They have these little question marks over the head with the cards. Um, you can have ones for combat, you can have ones for crafting and ones for gathering. We're going to first look at a combat one. I'm dressed up here as my marauder. We go to this dude. And let's go to Battlecraft. So Battlecraft, Fieldcraft, which is uh, gathering stuff, Tradecraft, which is making stuff. So let's go to Battlecraft. And I'm going to grab, oh, I don't know, fresh meat. They are level specific, so these are level 10 to 15. And then if you go to a higher level area, they will be level 15 to 20, etc. So I'm going to grab this one and accept it. I can take all four of those if I want to, but I'm going to do one at a time. Now what they are is they are quests that are specific to you so the mobs are for you they are kind of mini instances really where no one else can join in it's just about you i'm gonna go to my little companion here and i'm gonna set him as dps yeah right come on unable to execute companion skill level two level what are you talking about no i can do anything i like with this ah that's because it, oh there we go Defender, attacker, oh well, just put him in three stars, does what he likes. Right, so, the guild leaves are always kind of in this area, so we're never going to be going very far. Uh, you can see this is a green circle, that's where the leaf is going to take qu uh, place. So if I go into my journal and select the leaf quest, fresh meat, it will give me a map to tell me where I'm meant to be, and there I am. You can see me slap bang in the middle of that green circle, which is where the combat is going to take place. And then I can either abandon it or initiate it. Well, I will initiate it. And when you initiate, you're given an opportunity of setting the difficulty level. Now, because I, this is a level 10 quest, I'm level 15. It has plus four the recommended level. So it's going to be a little bit more challenging. Uh, and again, if you are level 10 and you want a real challenge, you could always bump up the difficulty four levels. You would probably get owned, but it's quite in getting additional experience. So I'm going to confirm this and the leave quest will start. And um, I've got 20 minutes to do it. And what I have to do is to get the stuff with the card over the top. So, oops, I'm in the wrong, I'm waving at it, I'm not hitting it. So these guys are going to be taking me out, or attempting to take me out. So let's, uh, whoops. let them let Drumstick do some of the work. Got him. Let's take this guy down too. Ah, right. I've now read the instructions and know what I have to do. Come on. And I... There we go. Right. So what I have to do is to calm those dodos. Ooh, treasure copper, cool. Got some ether, fantastic. So these feral dodos, I have to get a, ooh, mole rat. Getting the moats going, let's have a look at my emotes. I need to, okay, so I need to set the emote up. Social, emotes, we want soo, we soo. Oh, am I missing it? Uh, 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 there you go, Sue. So I'm going to set that uh, up here on the sprint button because I need to spin right now. So when I've done a certain amount of damage to the dodo, I will have to soothe it. Right, so let's get the, do the dodo targeted. I'll start hitting him. And when he gets down to a particular level, let's see. About now, let's whoop, soothe him. Ah, he's soothed. Brilliant. So that's one done. The problem being is that is a multiple strike. Come on, get rid of him. Kill him. 
There we are. So, Dodo there. No. Stop it, drumstick. Stop attacking him. Drumstick. Bad chocobo. Right, let's find the next one. So you can see in the map, in the top right hand corner, there's green circles with little cards in them. There's another feral Dodo with that horrible roll map, that mole rat thing. So let's grab him. There we go. So I take his health down to a particular level. Oh, don't stand to the fire and soothe. Got him. Lovely. Now I can disengage from him and I can hit this horrible little thing. Where's drumstick gone? Oh, he's just... go. Oh. Bugger. <laughs> Uh, drumstick, drumstick, you useless bird. You killed the dodo that we pacified. You're a very naughty chocobo. Right, let's go back and grab another one, shall we? I'll do a little bit of editing. We'll leave that in because you're a stupid chocobo. Bad chocobo. Right, let's go over it. And I'll grab another guild leaf. I will edit the bit out. Uh, I'll find something where I have to kill things. Far easier. Bad Chocobo. Very disappointed. Okay, we're back again now. I've got a different guild leaf. Blooming drumstick. Uh, so if you've got any quests that require you to pacify animals, don't have your Chocobo with you because they will screw it up for you. Right. Uh, let's go to my journal again. And here is Jackal on the Livestock, which is just a straightforward killing one. Uh, and we'll initiate because I know I'm in the right place. Uh, we'll have the full-on recommended level. I'll confirm that. Fantastic. So, let's find where I've got to kill. Over here. Shackles. Lovely. I should be able to take on more than one at a time. Great. So these are the guys I have to kill. I have to kill four of them. So here we go. Take him out. Lovely. Got ya. Yeah, one. That's a damage over time. Killed it. Right, that's one down. Oh, treasure copper. Hey! Have that. Lovely. He's having a go at me. Come on, then. Have a go if you think you're hard enough. Which you're not. You're going to get home. Bang. Ooh. One fire. Cool. He's down. Get him. Taking no damage, these poor guys. Oh, lovely, one more, and he's down, how no got three out of four, there's another one up here, got ya, very exciting music, oh get him, get him, got him, da da da, Right, let's return to Swift Perch. Hit the S button, and you don't have to do it if you've got four of these lead quests to do. You can do all four of them. Just hit no and go back and hand them all in at the same time. It's the easiest thing to do. This guy's now got a tick above his head. Let's hand the quest in. Collect reward. There we go. Fair look that way, and let me tell you a coin now, as you can see, be on your way. Right, I was given a bonus for difficulty because I've got more experience because I, I've made it harder. I've also got a bonus for speed of completion because you give them 20 minutes, the quicker you uh, finish them off, the more rewards you get. So I've got uh, 2,052 experience and 108 gold as a reward, but my completion bonus is an additional 2,199 experience with 59 gold. So this is an absolutely phenomenal way of leveling up. So I expect those, there we go. And that was a big chunk, that was a good like 5-10% of my um, experience bar went up there. So that is a typical battle time craft leave. They're great ways to level up. You'll be in an area anyway doing normal quests. So pick a few um, lead quests up and it's a great way to level. Uh, and they're also quite fun. They're interesting distractions. There's a variety of them. Uh, and they have things like having to soothe things or collect things as well as having to beat things up. 
Uh, sometimes in them as well, the um, quest will spawn an elite mob, and if you can take that elite mob down, that elite monster down, you get even more experience points. Uh, it's optional within the optional quest, actually, so they're really good fun. Um, so a great way of finding these, you access these around about level 8 um, as part of the story quest, uh, and they're a nice distraction and a great way to get a few extra XP points if you feel you're a little bit underpowered for what's going on at the moment. So I'm going to uh, come back with Flumper and we're going to go and do a gathering quest. I'm probably going to do a mining gathering quest. So we'll be back in a little while and you'll see how the, um, the quest, the lead quest goes for gathering. See you back in a minute. And here we are, uh, we're in Uldar at Camp Drybone and we're going to do a bit of a mining quest. So, um, same kind of thing as before. What we need to do is to go to our journal. Uh, I've got this one called Earth Sprites Are Easy. Uh, it's a reference to an old early 90s um, film called Earth Girls Are Easy. So that's why I grabbed it. I thought that was quite a fun reference. Um, so we'll click into this. I'm already in the right place. So we will initiate. And again, uh, your home point is not set to an aetherite in this area. If you, I'm not worried about that because I'm unlikely to die doing this particular quest best thing to do is to make sure you set your home points to whichever area that you're taking these quests from. I'm not worried at the moment, not for a, a gathering quest. So he goes, okay, I'm going to, yeah, why not, put it to difficulty plus four, confirm. Right, now it's given me particular nodes that I have to mine, and I'm looking for earthen power stone. So if I come into here and I will start prospecting. So here we go, 84% uh, chance, so I should be able to do this relatively easily, and I need 35 of them. Sometimes with these gathering quests, it may be particular things that you have to get. Uh, it could be as well that you get a certain number of experience points for getting um, 20 of them. If you can manage to get 30 of them, you get more experience, you get 40, uh, and that depends on your level, because if your level's low, you are going to fail quite a bit, so it does provide a bit of a challenge. Essentially, you're running around trying to grab these things as quick as you can. With 84%, I should be okay. Oh, missed one. Lovely. Okay. Also, there's only a certain number of nodes to mine. So once those nodes have run out, if you haven't mined everything, you will fail the quest. So I've got 11 out of 35. What I'm going to do this time is I am going to oh, get into that. And I am going to hit that button, which puts a 15% bonus on gathering, so I will get 100% from here. Okay, I should be able to finish this quite quickly. Come on. Lovely. One more. Nice. Right, let's go and find another one. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm going to pop that up to 100 again so I can finish the quest nice and easily. So, the quicker you do it, the more experience. If my level was lower, because I'm I think, a level 19 miner, and I'm doing a level 15 quest, which is why it's not quite as hard as it normally would be. Right. There we go, mineral deposit. Nice. Come on. How are we doing? 24 out of 35. Come on. You can do it, Flint. Oh, missed. Now the Earthen Power Stone is um, a thing that is only for these quests. So you won't find it anywhere else and it will be taken from you at the end. So these are unique items which you can find nowhere else in the game. But they are removed from your inventory as soon as you finish the quest. They've got no purpose other than to have something different to mine. Oh, here we go. You might give them two options. One of which is really hard and one of which is easy. Now you can go for the easy option to complete the quest but you get fewer experience points. Ooh, one more to mine. Um, or you can go for the harder ones and risk failing. Ooh, where are we? Over here. Nope. Is that green one up there? You can risk failing, um, but if you don't fail, you get far more experience points. I mean, all of these things are very varied and fun. They give you different challenges and different decisions to make. I should. Ooh, boink. Done. Bada bam! Ba ba bam! Bam! Bam ba bam ba bam! Right, teleport back, and let's hand in the quest to Poponagu. Okay, weird name. Here we go, collect reward. 
I get a bonus for difficulty again, bonus for speed of completion, which means, wow, look at that though, 6,000 experience points, 182 gil with 11 earth shards and a bonus completion of another nearly 2,000 experience and 72 gold, that was worth doing, and that all doesn't quite level him up. Ooh, chief! Doo -doo -doo -doo. So that is a typical leaf quest for mining. Again, sometimes gathering classes can be a pain in the bum to level up, as can the crafting classes. This is a great way to level up very quickly. You saw the amount of experience there, it added about 15% onto my experience bar. If you're feeling a little bit underpowered or want to level up or power level, these are great ways of doing it. Uh, and you can find things like this in most of the hub areas. Sometimes a hub will be devoted to botany instead of mining, so you won't be able to do a mining quest there. But find these ones great. You can just farm a load of experience in a very, very short space of time. So that is a gathering leaf quest. The botany ones are very similar. So we'll finish off with a crafting leaf quest. So. Uh, I'm going to stop feeling, fe um, filming here with Flimper Limper. We'll come back in one of the areas where we can do a crafting leaf. What I need to do is to go into character. We go here and Weaver. Equip set. Nice. So we go for the leaf quest. Go back into our duty finder journal. And we have hat in hand here. So extremely requires a freshly extracted stroke of stomach for a latest experiment. Use the medicines you've provided. You can neutralize it. Oh no, that's not the one. Really? Oh no, that's it. I was looking at the wrong quest. Um, Long-standing botanist skilled as natural. Deliver a straw hat to raw rich one one. Or one of one. Okay. Here we go. That's all we have to do. So there's no kind of initiate. We just have to make a straw hat. Now let me have a look to see whether I've got the materials, I don't think I have, in which case I'll pop and buy them and we can just make a hat and close this quest down. Uh, so what I want to do is to go and make something. Right, here we go. So we want logs, we want crafting log, and we wanted, what was that, a straw hat. Straw hat. In here, there we go, straw hat. So I need, funny enough, three bales of straw. I haven't got them on the inventory, so I'll pop away, grab them, make the hat, and we'll hand the quest in. So I'll be back in just a second with all the materials that I need. Bye bye for now. Right, so I have gone and bought myself the materials I need to craft the straw hat, so let's go and make it. Crafting log, straw hat, synthesize. Here we go. Shouldn't take long to do, I'm higher level than this, so here we go. There we go. Easy. Straw hats. Joink. Lovely. Straw hats. What do straw hats do? They are for perception. So it's for a gathering class. Perception is that um, you wear that to get high quality items. So now I have to go and give it to someone. So in the map I can see the green circle to say the person I have to hand it into. So you make it. Then you have to hand it to a specific person. So there we go. They're right on the side here. Super. Let's talk to her. Hello. I've got my hat. Would you like a hat? Where is it? There you go. Have a hat. Fantastic. Look at that. Four and a half thousand experience points. Hundred fifty-two guilt for lightning. There we go. Da -da. Ba -ba 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 so, that is a very quick look at guild leaves. They're another, I mean, it's entirely optional. You don't have to do them, but they are great ways to bump yourself through the levels if you are feeling a little underpowered, or particularly if you're doing a crafting um, or gathering class and you want a power level. Uh, you don't get quests or get very small number of quests within the storyline itself. So the only way to level up really is to craft, which can be a very laborious and expensive process. However, if you do the guild leaves, uh, you can craft and then make significant gains, such as the one we've just seen in that. So, worth having a little look at. They're a great distraction within what is a game that has already tons of distractions in it anyway. Um, so, guild leaves, great fun, great leveling, 
and again it's something that gets you to explore areas that you might not actually get to have seen or experienced um, as part of the main quest so as always if you have enjoyed this video like favorite and subscribe follow me on all of the sociables and uh, i will see you next time as always happy gaming and bye bye for now Riadatelli, um, pam, 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 p